Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 23rd of October 1911, Italian pilot Captain Carlo Piazza made the first use of an aeroplane in wartime during the Italo Turkish War. The Italian government of Prime Minister Giovanni Giolitti launched its invasion of Libya in order to formalise its influence in the provinces of North Africa amidst the declining power of the Ottoman Empire. Having sent an ultimatum to the Ottoman government that was not accepted in full, war was declared on the 29th of September 1911. Carlo Piazza formally qualified as a pilot in April 1911 and soon took control of the Royal Italian Army Air Detachment, having proved himself as a talented racing pilot. When war broke out later that year, the Italian military transported its entire fleet of nine aircraft to Tripoli, following a prediction that aircraft would cause significant problems for the enemy. Having arrived in Libya by steamship, the Italian aircraft were brought on shore after the 20,000 ground troops began disembarking their ships on the 10th of October. The Italians soon found that the Ottoman defence was stronger than they had expected and, during a standoff near Benghazi, Piazza made history's first reconnaissance flight when he observed the Turkish lines from a Blerio Mark 11 aircraft. This type of machine, powered by a 25-horsepower three-cylinder engine, had famously made the first flight across the English Channel in a heavier-than-air aircraft in 1909. Barely a week later, the Italo-Turkish War would also see the first ever aerial bombing when Italian Lieutenant Giulio Giovotti dropped four grenades from his Taub monoplane. Later in the conflict, the Turkish military became the first to shoot down an aircraft, albeit with rifle fire. If you enjoy History Pod, please consider supporting it. You can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod. Alternatively, please leave a rating or a review on iTunes, Stitcher or Google Play.